Hi, this is Mighty John, the record guy from MoneyMusic.com. And welcome to our third episode of Money Music, where you'll learn the value of your records. Each episode, we feature 10 records, each worth up to $100 or more. We hope you'll like, subscribe, comment, and hit that notification bell. The vault is open, so let's take a look. Number 10. Throughout the history of rock and roll, there have been a lot of one-hit wonders. Among them, Blues Image, with an album worth up to $100. Blues Image scored big with Ride, Captain, Ride, a Billboard Top 10 classic in 1970. Finding little commercial success after that, they broke up, with members finding their way into other bands like Iron Butterfly and Three Dog Night. The 45 Ride, Captain, Ride, released on Atco Records, is worth no more than $20. But the Blues Image album, Open, containing their hit, can get you $100 today. Number 9. What album by The Tokens can get you up to $125? A song first recorded in 1939 in the Zulu language in South Africa as Mbubi was number one for four weeks in the early 1960s when a doo-wop group known as The Tokens made Mbubi a true classic that everyone knows as The Lion Sleeps Tonight. The 45, released on RCA, is worth up to $20. A monocopy of the album is worth up to $50, while a stereo copy can sell for up to $125 today. Number 8. Which Jan Berry record can sell for up to $200 today? Jan Berry, a famed singing duo Jan and Dean, was as important to the California surf music craze as Brian Wilson. In 1966, Barry's career was derailed when he crashed his Corvette in Beverly Hills. He will always be best known for his hits with partner Dean on such classics as Surf City and the prophetic Dead Man's Curve, which can now sell for $75 with its picture sleeve. In 1965, Jan Barry released a solo 45 called The Universal Coward. Issued on Liberty Records, it's worth up to $200 with its picture sleeve. Number 7. Which Led Zeppelin album is worth up to $300? Led Zeppelin 3 was the third album for the band and featured more folk rock and acoustic renditions. The Immigrant Song is the best known track. The Led Zeppelin 3 album features a movable wheel or spinner behind the front cover with more images than those on the front. Released on Atlantic Records in 1970, a copy of the album can get you $300 today. Number 6. What record by Cool and the Gang is worth up to $300? Their biggest hits include Ladies Night and Celebrate. Cool and the Gang's 1973 hit of Jungle Boogie was heard in the movie Pulp Fiction. Like their other singles, Jungle Boogie is worth no more than $10. But their debut instrumental self-titled album released on D-Light Records in 1969 could get you $300 today. Number 5. The Young Rascals had the biggest hit, but The Dead has the most value, up to $350. One of the best-known classic rock songs of all time is Good Lovin'. It hit number one on the Billboard Hot 100 in 1966 for The Young Rascals. The song is listed at number 325 on Rolling Stone magazine's 500 Greatest Songs of All Time. In 1978, The Grateful Dead released their own version. The single by The Young Rascals, released on Atlantic Records, is worth no more than $10. However, the 1978 version by The Grateful Dead, released on Arista Records, can get you $350 with its picture sleeve. Number 4. What Stevie Wonder album can sell for up to $400? The world knows him now as Stevie Wonder, but in the early 60s he was known as Little Stevie Wonder. Fingertips was his first hit in 1963 and is now worth up to $50 with its picture sleeve. It was first recorded as an instrumental, as were all the other cuts on the album The Jazz Soul of Little Stevie. Released on Motown's Tamil label in 1962, the album is worth up to $400 today. Number 3. What album by the Beach Boys can get you up to $800? Sloop John B. by the Beach Boys is one of Rolling Stone magazine's top 500 greatest songs of all time. It was originally a folk song called The John B. Sales. In 1959, Johnny Cash recorded the song as I Want to Go Home. Jimmy Rogers recorded the song in 1960 as The Wreck of the John B. 
The Beach Boys single, released on Capitol Records in 1966, is worth up to $50 today with its picture sleeve. It's also included on the Beach Boys album, Pet Sounds. In stereo, the album is worth no more than $20, but a mono copy of Pet Sounds can now sell for up to $800. Number two, what tiny change on a Bruce Springsteen album changed $10 into $1,000? In 1975, both Time Magazine and Newsweek put Bruce Springsteen on the cover the very same week. Columbia Records, in a rush to get out his Born to Run album to capitalize on all that free publicity, sent copies to radio stations where on the cover, the title was in script lettering, like handwriting. Most of the albums with the title in block lettering sell for about $10. The script titles, as shown here on the right, are worth up to $1,000 today. Number one. Did you know B.B. King's first record can sell today for up to $2,000? With his trademark guitar, Lucille, B.B. King was the face of the blues for decades, a true icon. B.B. stands for Blues Boy. He had his first number one hit in 1951 with Three O'Clock Blues, now worth up to $100 as a 78 on RPM Records. Of the many records he has released, King has 25 of them, well worth over $100 each. His first single, Miss Martha King, released on Bullet Records in 1949, is worth up to $2,000 today. If there is a record you would like us to feature here on Mighty John's Money Music, please post it in the comment section. And thanks for watching. For more information on what your records are worth, please visit our website moneymusic.com